Good afternoon, Skull Ball Great Channel, and welcome back to FS News. Thursday news is here and just means that we are just one more day till the weekend, which I'm sure a lot of you cannot wait to play more Farming Simulator 25 this weekend. Also, another big simulator is actually coming out next week in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Can't wait for that one too. Now today, we have quite a bit of news to actually go over. We have news on BC Bueller's Meridian Bins, plus some news on a new poll from Lancy Boy, which is very, very exciting. Now for today, so far the time recording, there is no test on list, but if one does, of course, post, it will be posted on the club's Discord. Link to the Discord is down in the description, so don't forget to join that right there. Question of the day. Which map are you playing on first in Farming Simulator 25? Me, I've been playing a lot of Riverbend Springs, but I will probably play Hantai Pantai map in actually my single player. I'm really enjoying Farming Simulator 25. Okay, let's start off today strong with a 400 like video. So remember, before we get to this news, make sure to hit the like button, smack that sub button, and ring that bell. Roll that intro. Let's get to this news. Hey, welcome back, guys. Here we go with the first piece of news for this Thursday. And the first one is actually from Giants themselves, Farming Similar, of course. Farming Simulator 25 did just come out on Tuesday, and there's bound to be, of course, bugs on it. Pretty much every single game that comes out now, there is bugs, unfortunately. Okay, well, anyways, Giants made a post earlier saying, we've already started working on improvements for Farming Simulator 25. Notice something, let us know using our feedback tool. Your feedback helps us keep growing. And I'll actually have a link to that feedback tool, guys, down in the description. So if you guys have any problems at all, game crashing, or you would like to see you know, this fixed or that fixed, or to me, I would love to see it on consoles, 4K 60 FPS, if we can get that. The good thing is a lot of us YouTubers and other people that actually got the game a little bit earlier on early access, we have actually been reporting to Giants actually a lot of the bugs that we've been seeing ever since we've been starting to play it, which for me was last Friday. So a lot of YouTubers, a lot of modders, we have all been reporting this. So hopefully soon we will finally get that patch to actually fix a but with all that said, I cannot wait to get back into the game and actually play a lot more of it. Okay, let's get to some more regular news for today. Next, we have some news from AEN Design. He's been experimenting with converting placeable. It seems that at least basic sheds are fairly easy to actually convert for FS25. He expects that these right here can actually be sent off to the mod up in the next few days, which actually he's sent them off today. So these are actually been sent off and hopefully they do pass. So this might be actually one of the first sheds we see on the new farming simulator. Now, let's get to some fact sheets, some fact sheets from KRKZ Modding. And this is about a new subsoiler coming soon. This is the Azdokan subsoiler. We have the 945, the 745, and the 545. So let's go over these really quick. Let's see, the biggest one is, of course, the 945, which is 4.0 working meters. Uh, horsepower required for this one is all the way from 175 all the way up to 245 horsepower. Uh, let's see, it's 4.05 working meters, 12 kilometers per hour, 12,500. Now the 745 is three meters, three points, sorry, yeah, three meters. Uh, let's see, it does require about 175 horsepower right there, $10,000. Then we have the 545, which is 2.25 meters. That one only requires 125 horsepower. Can't actually wait for these to actually come into the game. These don't look like these require too much. Uh, right now, I cannot wait for these and hopefully sooner or later, some actually regular plows instead of the angled plows. Not really a big fan of angled plows. Now let's talk about some mods from Lancy Boy. He's happy to announce that his American placeable pack is ready to be sent off to Giants. As you can see with these photos, that he has actually made some re-edits of his work with the real corrugated steel roofs and fresh new textures, custom made by himself. Plus with the ambient inclusion effect, there is some original sheds that haven't had changes as he thinks that they will actually look good as they are. He will be adding a brand new American shed to this pack, which will be a surprise for all of us. This will be coming out to all platforms for FS22 and FS25. They will also have color selection and new custom made textures. So some new placeables from Lancy Boy. That's not all the news from Lancy Boy either. I think this might be a little bit of like a tease of what he is working on. Of course, we all know he's making a new map but he's also might be converting a new map over. He says, talk to him. Stone Valley 25 or American Life of Farming 25. So I have a link to Lancy Boy's Facebook page, guys, down in the description. You guys can head on over there and you guys can put your suggestion on that post right there. Uh, it's at the very top right there. And uh, of course, Stone Valley 25 or American Life of Farming 25. To me, 
I would pick American Life of Farming 25. We had Stone Valley 25 and 19, and of course on FS22. American Life, we have not seen since FS19 days. I would love to see it. That would be a major overhaul going from FS19 all the way to FS25, and mainly something new. And maybe later on down the road, you know, you can bring over uh, Stone Valley 25, because that's another good map too. Let me know what you guys would like to see. Stone Valley 25 or American Life of Farming 25? Let me know in the comments section below. Okay, next we have some news from Retro Mods about a new wheel loader he's been actually working on right here. Uh, says, don't mind the slight texture issue since he doesn't have the new editor yet, because that is not out yet. But the 544G has made it to 25 with the new texture system. And actually it looks pretty dang good, doesn't it? That will be an all platform mod. Along with that one, another all platform mod is this right here from Case Aries Modding. New game, new in-game, and textures. The rear fan and the side fan panel 23s will be together as a single mod. So here we can see it right here, the 2388 case. Uh, this one is one of my favorite harvesters actually on FS22, and I cannot wait for it to actually make its way back onto FS25. We're gonna be seeing a lot of conversions actually coming over to FS25. And then speaking of conversions, this leads into our last piece of news for today, which is from our good friend BC Bueller. Uh, of course, you guys recognize these. These are from FS22, the Meridian bins, and of course, the foremost bins, which I believe those did not actually go over to console. So hopefully they will on FS25. Keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully they do. But anyways, if you guys would like these bins, these are actually available now for PC users. I actually have a link to, of course, his Facebook page down in the description below. Head on over there. And then I think the top post he actually has on there, you guys can click on those and it leads into his itch page where you guys can download. But anyways, he's released these two mods over on his itch since placeables can be converted for the most part fairly easy. He says that in the bin selection was a poor was poor again in the base game. So he's got both of his grain bin packs converted last night. They will both be on the official mod up. So these will be coming to, of course, you know, the official mod up. I'm just hoping that those foremost bins will actually come to consoles. But I do know those Meridian ones will be an all platform mod, mod right there. So there you have it right there. There is all the news for today. Pretty good day actually in news. Now a little bit of an update on the schedule for this week. Uh, this weekend, guys, there will be no live streams. Tonight is the last live stream for the week because I'm actually going on a little bit of a mini vacation for Christmas. I know it's a little bit early for Christmas, but it's actually best to do while well, we're going. It's actually best to get there before Christmas because it gets packed during Christmas time. So, yeah, going to be spending a little bit of time with the family. But I do have videos actually planned for the whole weekend. So definitely pay attention to the channel. Like always, if you guys did enjoy the video, a like would be appreciated. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the club. Don't forget to hit that sub button and ring that bell. Well, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Wish I could say I was finally over.